ladies and gentlemen. The story you're about to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. I've been on the Foo Care squad now for about five years. One of the original members. It's really made my time down here worthwhile, helping people out, keeping the funk flowing in McMurdo. It's got some real job satisfaction to it. People appreciate it. Oh, hang on a second, hang on a second. Go for large. I am on my way. I gotta roll. We'll talk more later. Come on now, let's go. We got things to do. I'm sorting the trash. Here's how you sort the trash. Bag of trash, can of trash. Voila, we're done. Oh. Was that a tooth? Oh. Sorting your trash is a job requirement down here, no matter what agency you work for. I, I'm trying to... Ugh. I've been on the force about three years now. It's not always fun, you know. Sometimes you gotta get your hands dirty. You gotta do things you don't always want to do. Like today, we've got the setup, the sting operation here. We've got a real seedy, nerdy, dirt ball, slime bag... Sicko coming in, he's selling cards to Crary, the Crary key cards on the street, black market, and uh, we're going to set him up. We found out about this place from our informant. My deputy, Bam Bam, here is going to set me up with a couple of uh, cameras. What do you think? Oh, mm. okay. You know, I think they're going to work. Okay. What do you think? Nice set. I'm going to go check them out and do a test All next door. All right, door. let's do a test. Sounds good. We gotta feed! You should be inside. Let's hope it goes down like we planned. Ah, uh, welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Sure. Now look at this beauty. You, find, you won't find anything like this. Oh, Just gorgeous. Yeah. Okay. It's made out of the finest plastic you can find anywhere. Right. Okay, so uh, what are you asking? Ah, uh, uh, well. What do I ask? You can get one for like about 20 bucks or something. And how many can you guarantee? 500. Ah! That's it! Are you crazy? Ah! Ah! My lawyer! Next My look. time, look me in the eye when you make a deal. Ah! I've been part of the Food Cares for about five years now. I uh, find it's really rewarding and fulfilling. Uh, one of the things that's really great about being part of this organization is that we get to take some PT and uh, do a lot of working out. It's pretty awesome. But, you know, spend about three or four hours a day in the gym, you know, just doing things here and there, working on my pecs, getting in my power zone. Hey, looking good, man. Whoo! Whoo! Oh, I really feel the burn when I do that. But, you know, it's really rewarding, you know, when you get, a, get to work out all the time, you get a body that kind of looks like this. You also get arms that look like this. It's pretty awesome. Quads, we get a little bit of everything. This is shit we gotta deal with all the time. Go ahead, large. Copy that, big dripper on my watch. Got a 938, uh, I'll be responding to. Let's go. Like to pound the honey. Let's go get this perp. You know, I've been on the force for what, uh, six years now? Yeah, it's fun. I'll tell you what, it's fun, but it seems like you're on the job 24-7. You never know what's going to come up. Yeah, you know, it's a, it's a cold continent. But, you know, things do heat up around here. 
And when they heat up, it's my job to cool them down. That's what I do. Go ahead, dispatch. Yeah, we have a staff back over here in the galley that needs some attention. Think you can handle it? I'm on it. Be there in two. See what I mean? Never a dull moment around here. I gotta go. So anyway, I'm talking to this guy out in Derelict Junction, and he says he's a refrigeration tech. Refrigeration tech in Antarctica. Who needs a freaking refrigeration tech in Antarctica? I mean, I can... Oh. Do you like food? Do you like science? Do you like ice cores? Do you like Frosty Boy? Been on the force for two years now. I've caught the silly damn accent. I'm a Kiwi. I'm talking like an American. Now, I started off, um, I was like this, and now I've, they put me in charge of a lot of stuff. I'm really responsible. I've been responsible for a lot of calls, responsible for just getting out there and doing things, jumping around, knuckling down on those knuckleheads, you know? What the hell? You can't park there, mate. Hey, mate, that's a Kiwi park. This park is for Kiwis. Kiwis only. Alright? I've been with Ifu Cares for three seasons now, but mostly in an administrative role. I want to demonstrate to the camera crew the kinds of things we deal with. Listen to this message. Yeah, you guys, Channel 9 is out, and I'm trying to watch a movie. Thanks a lot. In layman's terms, Channel 9 is not coming through on his cable television. Let's take a look at the control panel and feeders. It could be anything, whether user error, electrical. The feeder, the feeder, has been switched off. We must fix this situation. Pardon me for a moment. This is something I may have to be called on any hour of the day, so my work is never easy. My job demands a lot from me. It is public service. And I am the servant. Who cares? Who cares? Uh, we got a code 420. Uh, that'd be a perp devoid of funk. Alright, you heard that. Who cares? You gotta roll, man. Let's get out there and regulate. Sticks, count us off. One, two, three, four.